Today we're going to talk about sun glare and ways to reduce it. And it all starts with your visor, of course. Now when you put your visor down in the sun glare, make sure you push it up towards the windshield just as far as you can. The reason being is you need to see the traffic signals up ahead as well. And that's just as important as seeing the cars out on the road in front of you. Some visors have mini visors that slide out from the inside. These are designed to fill gaps that might occur if the sun's coming in from a different angle. There are many types of aftermarket visors you can buy and they reduce a lot of glare without completely blocking your view. This one is adjustable in a number of ways and you can still see through it, which helps you see those signal lights up ahead. Cleaning the windshield on the inside and out is a great way to reduce glare. Any dirt that's on the outside of the glass or smudges on the inside is gonna take the sun's rays and just scatter them all over the place, make your visibility really bad. So give it a good cleaning inside and out and you should be able to see much better. Of course, changing the time of day you go to work can help, but many times that's not feasible. But changing your route to work can make a difference. Driving on some streets that are shaded by trees can reduce your time in the glare. Pay particular attention in school zones and pedestrian areas. Someone could step into a crosswalk right in front of you, assuming you can see them because it's a bright sunny day. Even a low speed bump into a pedestrian can severely injure them, so don't proceed if you can't see. Having a nice shiny dash always looks really good, but you really want to avoid using a product like this around this time of year. That's because it does put a good gloss on the dash, but that's going to reflect even more of the sun's rays underneath the visor, off of the dash, and right up into your eyes. Windshields that are pitted due to years of sand and rock pelting against them are going to scatter glaring right and reduce visibility. No one wants to spend money to replace a windshield unless they absolutely have to, but getting a new one might prevent an even more costly accident. Obviously you need sunglasses when the glare is out, but buying polarized sunglasses is even better. The polarized type block a lot of the glare and you can see much better. But a word of warning, if you buy yourself new sunglasses, guess who else is going to want a pair? Are you happy now? Guess so. <laughs> For Channel 6 News, I'm Jim Champion, the Auto Guy.